Banjo work there, Neil. Jen, you can learn a thing or two from Neil here. Professional. Um, this uh, this song that we'd like to do for you this week, I personally, I'm sick of it. But uh, you know what? It really illustrates a great point. And that point is that if you want to uh, write a successful comedy song, use hatred. Okay, should I rock us into yeah, that? Yeah, you go right ahead, man. Very good banjo play. Well, I hate the Sky Dome and the CN Tower too. I hate Nathan Phillips Square and the Metro Zoo. The rent's too high, the air is unclean. The beaches are dirty and the people are mean. And the women are big and the men are dumb. And the children are loopy because they live in a slum. The water is polluted and the mayor's a dork. They dress real bad and they think they're New York and Toronto. Ontario. Oh, oh, oh. That's very good, Ron. Thanks. I memorized it off that album you made all those years ago. It was on a cassette tape. <laughs> That's how old we are. Do you know the second verse? I think so. Because the second verse is all about how much we hate all of Ontario. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Go ahead. I hate Thunder Bay and Ottawa, Kitchener, Windsor, and Oshawa. London sucks and the Great Lakes suck, and Sarnia sucks and Turkey Point sucks. You know, they, they really do suck, Ron. Have you been to those places? Mm, no, I've been to Toronto, though. Did it suck? Yeah. Did anybody kick the shit out of you? Uh, no, but I got real drunk there. Those <laughs> bastards. I <laughs> fell down. Yeah. You know what else sucks? What? The rest of Canada. Yeah. Newfoundland sucks and... No, that's not that. No, that's not good. Oh, you're right. It does suck. Yeah, it sucks, but... Yeah. Oh, you better make right. it your own. Oh, but why do they suck again? Uh, oh, they talk all Oh, that's right. Yeah. Okay, now I got it. Yeah, right. Can you wiggle them out? Newfoundland sucks because they talk so weird and Prince Edward Island is too small. Nova Scotia's dumb because it's the name of a bank. New Brunswick doesn't have a good mall. Quebec is revolting and it makes me mad. Ontario sucks. Ontario sucks. Hey, did you know that the population density of Manitoba is 1.3 people per square kilometer? Those assholes. So dumb. Where do they get off? That's dumb. Unbelievable. Yeah, great. Well, you know what else? What? Saskatchewan is boring and the people are old and as for the territories, they're too cold. And the only good thing about the province of British Columbia is that they're right next to us. Yay! Because Alberta doesn't suck. Doesn't suck. But Calgary does. You feel that? You feel that? Personally, I, I think that by the letter of the law, we should be brought up on hate tr crime charges for writing that song. And thanks, uh, special thanks to David Belke for joining us up on stage. I don't usually sing, I'm a playwright. <laughs> thanks, David. I can't really get off the stage. Okay, we got a cut now for our next bit. This next bit is uh, from a troupe, uh, again, a comedy troupe called Troupe. Uh, and this is an 18 second skit that I think absolutely fantastic. One shot, 18 seconds, killer bit. Sammy, where have you been? When I tell you to stay with mommy, you stay with mommy. That's right, champ. Do you know how fast a stranger can come and just snatch you up? That's right. Who are you? I'll explain in the van. There you go. That's all right, that's good. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. 
Now, uh, every time I go down to L.A., people are always saying, hey, Wes, what do you got for me? What's your new big idea for a teen movie, you know? And uh, I, I'm always, you know, trying to come up with them. Uh, it's, it's not easy, though. But I found a site, chickenhead.com, where you can actually generate a teen movie pitch. And uh, we're going to generate one right now. It's very, very simple. So I wanted to turn you on to this project I'm repping. Between you and me, it's going to be a huge international hit, ultra blockbuster, box office slayer, or Ro Rober Ebert mind <laughs> the last one. I think so, too. <laughs> I mean, this is going to be the biggest thing since Glitter, Pearl Harbor, Ishtar, Waterworld, Batman and Robin, or Freddy God Finger. Freddy. That's a tough one. Freddy. I think Freddy, too. Freddy. Yeah. Ishtar is actually a good movie. And Freddy God Finger made a lot of money in DVD sales. This movie is American Graffiti meets Citizen Kane, Schindler's List, Midnight Cowboys. <laughs> American Graffiti meets Schindler's List meets Shrek, let's okay, say. Shrek. With a little bit of Aaron Brockovich <laughs> thrown in for good measure. <laughs> so we have this movie is American Graffiti meets Schindler's List meets Shrek with a little bit of Aaron Brockovich thrown in for good measure. Oh, so film. what would that be? It's a love story about a cat who meets a she-male girl dog cat. Uh, she kind of fun. Girl, dog. How about I think dog. You know, yeah, if you're going dogs, cat, you got to go dog. It's new. That's animated. It's about one family struggle to overcome some really tough thing, a searing case of hemorrhoids or intestine inhaling aliens. I think some really tough things. Some really tough things. Because then you don't have to commit. Yeah, that's specific. And we'll email this to a producer, and boom, there's your pitch on its way. There's the team movie. Fantastic stuff. Is it actually on its way to a producer? Sure. Yes, Bill. We'll be right back after this break. We'll be much wealthier here on The Geek Show.